Hello YouTube friends! In today's video we will be going through a bunch of fun art supplies that I recently got as you may have guessed from today's title and I will also be showing you uh, some things that I was sent to for free by a couple different companies and I do apologize for the audio I film everything on my phone at the moment, so with a video like this where I am talking in real time with the video, uh, the audio is being recorded on my phone as opposed to a microphone, and so yeah, the audio, not amazing, so I do apologize for that. And as well, the entire video is not scripted, so... I repeat phrases such as really excited to try this a thousand times. So yeah, take a shot every time you hear me say that and you will be hammered. Just kidding. Drink responsibly. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you enjoy today's video. Keep on watching to see all the fun goodies that I got. To start, I wanted to show you guys the acrylic paint markers that I recently bought. So first I got these Molotow or Molotov paint markers. Um, these ones are acrylic based made in Germany. This one is double ended which is pretty cool so it's got the two sizes there. Obviously I had to get pink. Then I also got more Posca branded ones. These ones obviously are very popular and I've seen so many different illustrators on Instagram and YouTube here doing illustrations with their Posca markers. These are also acrylic based. And then uh, I just restocked on my favorite sketching pencils. These are by Prismacolor. My favorite color is the Carmine Red. And then I splurged on this fancy paintbrush that I'm really excited to try out. It's by Raphael and it is a imitation squirrel. It's got this very, very robust head, I guess you would call it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I'm very excited to try this out. I usually buy cheaper watercolor brushes or paint brushes in general because I'm not the best at taking care of them but I thought I would splurge and get this guy here and see if um, you know a more expensive paintbrush really makes that much of a difference. Now that we're getting into the holidays um, I also bought a bunch of these little round canvas boards um, that have a little pre-cut hole at the top. I think these would be perfect um, to make some cute little illustrations, particularly with my uh, new acrylic paint markers and some gouache. I think they'll be really cute. So the main thing that I really wanted to get part of this big sale was uh, to invest in some nice Daniel Smith watercolor paints. If you're not familiar, Daniel Smith is a very, very high quality watercolor and they are very expensive. So I knew that I wanted to make an informed decision and I got these um, dot card charts a long time ago. These are Daniel Smith paints. Uh, I think it has pretty much the whole collection. Um, and basically it allows you to try out every single color and that way you can decide what one makes sense for you and it's really helpful it comes uh, with the light fastest the series number whether or not it's granulating um, and then the transparency um, this was really essential for me because i was specifically looking for some kind of warm brown that was non-granulating because I wanted some more options for kind of darker skin tones and for skin I really don't want it to granulate which is when it gets that texture so I was very ambitious and I went ahead and swatched every single one of these um, and yeah it was really time consuming but um, I'm really glad I did it because then I was able to see all the colors um, and then 
make my decision based on all of these swatches. Yeah, it's really interesting to see how the colors, um, depending on the pigments, react. Um, like this one has a bit of a sheen on it. This one really is granulating, so it kind of sits in the grooves of the paper, things like that. Um, so I ended up getting four different colors. The first one being Rose of Ultramarine, which I wasn't um, intending on because this is actually a very granulating color, but I couldn't resist. It's so stunning. Um, it's this one here. Um, so you can see the purple sits kind of on top and then the blue kind of sits inside the grooves of the texture of the paper, which is gonna be so fun to use. Um, for, I think, galaxy type themed paintings and things like that. The next color that I got was Thalo Turquoise. I thought it might be a good idea to finally grab some more teal and greens in my life. Um, I think it's this one, one of these ones, I forget. <laughs> and then I got these two browns. Quinacridone Deep Gold and Permanent Brown. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I was looking to get uh, some more skin tone options. So these ones are non-granulating. Quinacridone Deep Gold. So that'll be a nice kind of yellowy based uh, watercolor and then permanent brown. So yeah, that's this guy here. So that'll be a nice kind of warmer, darker tone there. Of course, I don't, I won't use them straight out of the tube on its own for skin tone. I always mix and match, um, but now I have some more bases to work off of. I really, really wanted to get the Opera Pink. It is so pretty, um, but unfortunately, it's one of the few, I think one of only two um, colors from Daniel Smith that um, are not light fast, which is this um, code here. And what that means is that it will fade over time. And as much as I like that color, I just can't bring myself to buy it if I know that um, it's gonna fade over time, which means I won't be able to sell the original painting of whatever I make with it. So, alas, I will have to do without it. And then, speaking of watercolors, I grabbed this 100% cotton cold press Fabriano pad, which I've already used. Um, I was just kind of restocking on it. It's really nice paper. And then I also picked up the hot press version of it. Um, cold press is got some texture on it, which I'm typically more used to. And then hot press is very smooth. And I haven't um, used hot press watercolor paper as much. I have one by F the brand Fluid, but um, I think it's a lower quality version that I have. So um, I'm excited to try a higher quality version and see how I like it. And also on the topic of painting services, I also got a mixed media sketchbook. Uh, I originally was not going to get a sketchbook when I did this big art supply uh, splurge because I own so many sketchbooks already that I haven't finished or even touched. However, uh, this one is kind of unique. It's got a cover that you can decorate. So it's got a thicker uh, stock on the front there. So this front page is meant to be torn off and then you can decorate this uh, to be customized to your personal style and then the paper inside I haven't tried this uh, paper before but it's a mixed media so it's thinner than a watercolor paper and then it's got the perforated edge but I thought that this size and this paper would be really suitable for um, when I do my Com my uh, commissions when I do conventions like comic cons and fan expos and things like that I also 
am very excited to try these round wood panels. Uh, so if you have been following me for a little while, you probably know that uh, I prefer to work on wood panels for my gouache and acrylic paintings. And for the most part, I was just using squares and rectangles. However, now these round wood ones are available and I think will make for really, really interesting uh, pieces. And then lastly, not necessarily um, an art related thing, but I got a bullet journal from Leuchtturm, I think is how you pronounce it. It's a German company. Um, and they were offering free embossing. So of course I had to stay on brand and get this rose gold embossing of my handle there. So yeah, the one that I got is dotted. It's got the dots in there. And yeah, so when I finish my current one, I can move on and use this one. Who knows, maybe I'll end up drawing in it. We'll see. <laughs> And then lastly, on the page of new things, um, I picked up some Sculpey, um, which is an oven bake clay. Um, this is not a new product by any means, but I personally haven't had a lot of experience using clay. Um, and I thought that it might be fun to experiment some more. Um, I've seen um, some other illustrators make really cute pins and magnets and things like that so might dive into something like that because uh, you know why not I think it'll be fun so that was all of the supplies that I had purchased during the sale at my local art supply store. Um, and now I'm gonna move into some of the things that have been sent recently. Um, so ArtX uh, slash Lightwish, um, they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try some of their supplies. And of course, I was really excited to try out the Paul Rubens watercolors and the Himi slash Mia um, jelly gouache. It's pink. It's baby pink. I couldn't resist. Um, so very excited to try them out. Um, I definitely want to make like a first impressions or review video uh, painting with them. I haven't actually tried them yet because I wanted to do that with you guys here on YouTube. Um, they come in this awesome little case and it's got all your mixing tray options here. It comes with 24 colors. They're all um, lightly packaged, which I like. Um, they just have a little piece of adhesive label here and you just lightly peel them off like so. Yeah, so satisfying if I knew how to do this properly. There we go. <laughs> Ta-da! And I've been very carefully putting them back in the package because it's just so aesthetically pleasing. It's so perfect. And then um, these, oh my gosh. So these gouache, jelly gouache, paints, you've probably seen them going around. These I really wanted to try for a long time, but to get them in Canada, even from Amazon, is much more expensive than when you're in the States. Um, so, so glad to have gotten them uh, sent to me. So it comes like this. I'm so glad I got the pink one too also. I mean, the mint is adorable, but it was just kind of perfect that they sent me all pink. So again, I have not opened them yet. Um, they come wrapped pretty much like a little jello packet, um, like this. And I'm not gonna peel the top just yet. Uh, I'm gonna save that again for a video dedicated for these paints. But um, I guess I will take them all out so you can see the colors that come in it. Um, I don't think they come in any particular arrangement. I've already taken them out and put them back in multiple times. And so I kind of arranged them in a way that I think made sense for me. I 
I've heard mixed things about whether or not people prefer them when they're in their jelly state or whether or not it's better to let them dry out completely and then use them uh, kind of like a watercolor cake. Um, but I definitely will be trying them out while they're still moist. I know some people really hate that word, <laughs> but it's the best way of describing it. So that's all the colors there. It comes with two whites, which again, mixed reviews on that. I actually like that it comes with two whites um, because white is a color that um, I would go through quite a bit. So yeah. Okay, and lastly, I wanna talk about the art supplies that I got sent by uh, Liquitex. Um, so Liquitex is primarily a acrylic paint brand. Um, I've been using them for years actually. So I was really excited when they contacted me for that. Um, so they sent me some brushes. Um, these I've never tried before. Um, I personally prefer a short handle cause I work fairly small. So um, I'm interested, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna use them as is or maybe I'll cut them, we'll see. Um, so they sent me some brushes. They had sent me some gloss medium and varnish. Um, I don't varnish um, things very often because I'm often working on paper, but um, this will be very handy for uh, my proposed uh, clay pins that I will hopefully get around to doing. Um, this is an interesting product, the matte gel. Um, I, as you, if you're familiar with my work, I typically work um, quite flat, um, as in like no texture, whereas this is very thick. Um, so that might be a fun experiment um, to try. Um, I'm trying to like aesthetically place these things, but they're <laughs> rolling away. The other thing that they sent me, they sent me some titanium white in their heavy body acrylic paint. This is the acrylic paint that I'd used a lot when I was in my first year of college. Um, so it's actually my first experience using their products was with this, with this paint. And then they sent me some ink. Um, I actually already have a lot of their acrylic ink. Um, thankfully, they ended up sending me um, a color that I don't have already, which is dioxine purple. It looks black um, in the, uh, the camera here. You can kind of see a little bit. It's a very, very dark purple, um, which is perfect because I often use their acrylic inks for my line work in my watercolor and uh, gouache painting. So a dark, dark purple is pretty much perfect. And then for the really exciting stuff, um, I got sent their soft body acrylics. Um, so they sent me their um, set here. Um, so their acrylic paints um, were always in this packaging, um, but now for their gouache and their soft body acrylics, they've repackaged them. Um, like this. So they are more liquidy, um, which is why they packaged them differently now because the problem with when the soft body was in this packaging, you would open the lid and it would just like spill out because it was so fluid. Um, whereas the heavy body kind of stays put and it has to be squeezed out. Um, so yeah, very excited to try those. Um, so they gave me the set and then they were so kind to also send me some extra colors. Um, let me try and rearrange my situation here. So they also let me pick out a few extra colors as well to kind of fill out my color palette here. So I grabbed a Naples yellow hue, which is my one of my favorite yellows to grab. Um, whenever I'm building a palette because I find it's a good base for skin tones. Um, I grabbed this muted pink um, Which looks very brown in the bottle, but it's gonna be kind of like a warm 
color, I believe. More war warmer than, I think, more pink, I guess, than it looks here. And then I also grabbed a Cornacridone magenta because of course I had to grab pink. And I grabbed this light blue violet. Such a pretty color. I'm a sucker for pastels, obviously. So that's all the soft body acrylic. Um, very excited to try those out. And then they were so kind to also send me some gouache, which I've actually already been using, um, but they also sent me some acrylic gouache. So of course, got your classic white. And then they sent me, of course, beautiful medium magenta, so excited. And these two beautiful colors bright aqua green and a brilliant purple. This color palette right here really speaks to me. I didn't even pick these out, they just sent them to me and I don't know if it was a coincidence or if they knew, but it's literally perfect. So that's the lineup there, yay! And I think that pretty much is everything. Yeah, so no one's paid me to make this video. Like I said, the Liquitex had sent me these and then ArtX had sent me the Paul Rubens and the Himmy, Himmy set. They were just sent to me for free. Um, they didn't tell me that I had to make a video or anything like that. So yeah, and let me know in the comments which art supplies you want me to try out first. Um, I know that I had said that some of these things I've already tried before, but uh, let me know which ones you want uh, to see me work with um, in a video. Let me know what you think of this type of video as well. Um, I wasn't really sure if I was gonna make it because I typically do voiceovers for my videos. And I'm sorry that I said um and paused a lot. I am working on it. But, you know, I figured I, I, I personally love watching uh, unboxing and art hauls and stuff. So I figured why not do it? So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Have a good one, bye.